that's weird. Why are the Celtics trending with Brett Favre? That's weird. Uh, welcome to Open Mic. We like to start the show with a few stories or a hot take on a story you're not likely to see anywhere else. I'm from gorgeous Prince George's, and now I spill the tea in D.C. So you know these jokes come from a place of love. Let's start things off in Lusby, Maryland, where Southern Maryland Chronicle photojournalist Sal Ikaza took this photo of what many believe is an alligator. Uh, there's something lingering in the water in Calvert County, Maryland. Take a look at this. Sal Lacaza with the Southern Maryland Chronicle spotted and took this picture of something that looks like an alligator in Lusby. You see it there? The Chronicle has sent the photo to the Department, the Department of Natural Resources for identification. Now, believe it or not, this is not the first time an alligator has been spotted in Lusby. Just last year, you might remember this, a father and son captured that, a seven-foot alligator, while on a fishing trip in the Chesapeake Bay. Man, you could tell I always look at things from the point of view of the animals because I thought it was going to be a father and son alligator. So really, alligators, I miss the good old days when all we had to look out for was zebras. Now, I don't blame Sal for not sticking around for that thing to emerge from the water for confirmation. This ain't National Geographic. Don't risk your life for that particular shot. This story, by the way, has been the most read article on our website for the past one, two, three four days, which means everybody is thinking the same thing. Oh Lord, there's alligators here. Somebody help. We're headed to Enterprise, Alabama for this next story, where the entire town is full of statues and tributes honoring an insect, the boll weevil. In the center of Enterprise, Alabama, there's an intersection honoring an insect. We are one of the few cities in the world that where you have in the middle of town, a pest that's standing up on a pedestal. You know what? I challenge that because I'm pretty sure there is a rat standing in the middle of town on a pedestal in D.C. right now. So I challenge bull weevil statues all over the place in Enterprise. They even have, by the way, a bull weevil Ronald McDonald. So don't worry. By the way, there's there's a backstory for all of this. Enterprise was known for cotton farming, but bull weevils decimated those crops, which forced them to switch to peanut farming. That led to an economic rebirth and prosperity, and as a result, the boll weevil became a symbol of the town's rebirth. Now, they can reframe this story any way they want, but the boll weevils clearly won. They drove cotton out, out of, uh, they drove cotton out of business faster than you could say abolition. Now, their image and likeness can be found everywhere. They effectively conquered enterprise, so respect to the boll weevils. A bug with a funny name came to town with absolutely nothing and made everybody and everything do better. This could be a movie, like with Cuba Gooding Jr. can play the magical boll weevil who showed everybody the way. And by the way, Enterprise, we challenge your boll weevil Ronald McDonald with rat Popeyes. What you wanna do? What you wanna do? I chose this next story because it's in keeping with the theme of animal takeovers. Residents of Wabern, Massachusetts are dealing with a wave of aggressive turkeys relentlessly harassing people. Megan Tolson has endless stories even more videos. Um, I'd say over 10. Kevin and the crew holding her hostage in her home. He has attacked books, children, kids on bikes. They stalk the corner of Nashua and Tremont. They'll peck at your tires and they also won't let you out of your car. By the way, our uh, native uh, Massachusetts from Fall River, Anna, tells me it's Woburn. Kevin. They are giving names to their bullies. And all this time, we were wondering what happened to Thug Turkey, the bird harassing folks in D.C.'s Anacostia Bike Walk Trail. Looks like the whole time he was in Woburn, Massachusetts. I see why turkeys are the official bird of Thanksgiving. They probably got on the settler's last nerves until a pilgrim, a pilgrim grabbed a musket and then baked what was left for about five and a half hours. Now, according to Massachusetts Wildlife, the reason these turkeys have no chill it's because y'all keep feeding them. People keep feeding the turkeys. And thanks to bird feeders and yards, that is their theory on why the turkeys are set tripping like Crips and Bloods. To be fair, some folks are asking for trouble. They kind of grow on you a little bit. Like when I don't see him for a couple days, I'm like, oh no, did someone run Kevin over? Like, you know, like you, you're kind of concerned. In Woburn, I'm Mike Sullivan. Have a good day, Kevin. WBZ News. Didn't it look like Kevin had a tie on? Kevin was more prepared for a job interview than I've ever been. I picked this last story out of Milton Keynes, England, because it's a different kind of takeover. Actor Tom Hardy surprised everybody when he 
not only showed up to the 2022 UMAC Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Open Championship, but competed and took home the gold. Look at Tom just handing out A-list beatings. Your favorite action star could never, which is, I mean, my favorite action star is Rudy Ray Moore, and he definitely could never. It is good to know that the guy who played Bane really could have broken Batman's back. Hardy actually accepted his prize under his real name, Edward Hardy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Ed Hardy, like the tattoo artist whose work became a go-to fashion brand for people who tried too hard to look cool in the mid-2000s, or as y'all call it, the aughts. I refuse, I refuse to go with aughts. I'm sorry, nobody consulted me, I didn't vote. My favorite story, it's gotta be Tom Hardy showing the world that he can really beat people up like he does in the movies. Congratulations to Tom Hardy, you came, you saw, you conquered, just like bull weevils and wild turkeys, and possibly Maryland alligators, but definitely Ed Hardy clothes. Shout out to Woburn.